There's an old saying that states, you've got to spin to win. But where do you start? The best place to start building your bag of spin tricks is with the toe side front side 180. This is usually one of the first 180 variations that riders learn due to the ease of landing switch heel side. In this video we will break down this clip of Brandon Judd doing a toe side front side 180. Let's start off with the approach. Brandon swings out wide to build up enough momentum to get him wake to wake with ease without having to edge super hard. He flattens off his edge and drifts until the boat naturally pulls him back towards the wake before starting his progressive edge. To help take the trick more straight up, Brandon uses a seated edging position. Even with bent legs and hips back, he still leans down the line and away from the boat in order to build his edge. Throughout his entire approach, he has more of his weight over his tail. This keeps the nose of the board higher, allowing it to ride up the wake easier and take Brandon's pop more straight up. Once in the trough of the wake, Brandon begins standing tall and driving his hips forward to create his pop. As he rides up the wake, he continues holding his edge so that he doesn't lose momentum needed to clear the wake. Off the top of the wake, Brandon keeps the nose of his board high while pushing off his back leg. This allows the spin to release easier off the top of the wake. As Brandon leaves the wake, he continues to keep both hands on the handle and holds the same body position as if he were doing a normal toe side wake to wake jump. He doesn't begin rotating until he is almost at the peak height of the jump. This is when he initiates the front side spin rotation by simply moving the handle with both hands across his body. Throughout the approach, and when leaving the wake, the handle is pretty much lined up with his front hip. So when doing this handle movement, you can think of it as moving the handle from your front hip across your body to your back hip. While making this move with the handle, Brandon also sucks up his back foot just a little higher than his front foot. This levels out the board from the nose high takeoff and ensures that he doesn't dig his nose upon landing. As Brandon comes down from the trick, he extends his legs slightly to help cushion the impact. Upon landing, he absorbs the impact by bending his knees and then he rolls his weight back over his heel side edge of the board so that his momentum carries him out into the flats, allowing him to set up for his next trick. A common mistake with this trick is spinning too early. So if you take the trick up like a normal toe side wake to wake jump, then initiate the spin like Brandon does here, you will have no issues learning a toe side front side 180 wake to wake.